Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Fallout 2. In the last episode, we, uh, we, we joined a rat cult. Because yeah, apparently that'll help us, uh, seal the deal between Vault City and Gekko. And apparently the, uh, the Ankh that I was given to by, by the brain is supposed to be shown to the ghoul in this house. I, I think? This house. Sorry. Here we are. I see you have a symbol. Are you here for the information? Uh... The information? Did he send you for the data disk? Yes, I think? Here it is, but don't let the wrong person know that you have it. Give it only to Council McClure in Vault City. Okay, we, we can do that. Also, I want to go ahead and apologize ahead of time if I sound a bit off, I guess? Um, if I sound a bit off, and if I sound a, l a little a little sad, and the videos are a little bit irregular, uh, my upload schedule has been a bit iffy because things have just kind of been hectic. I've been busy. I've been helping out my family with stuff, but now things have gotten rough, like e emotionally rough. You guys pro if you guys follow me on like Twitter or Tumblr, you probably know why, but just I don't want to get too heavily into it for people who just like don't care. So basically, I I may sound a little bit bummed these next few episodes. But you know, I I will still try to bring videos to you as often as possible. So, we need to bring this to Councilman McClure, but first I do kind of want to see what it is. Okay, go hollow disk. Can we put it onto our... Actually, better yet, we better save before I do this, just in case, like, I fuck up and we can't read it. So hold on a second. Okay, because I kind of want to see what's on the hollow disk, but in case I fuck up... Okay, never mind, it doesn't do anything. We, we can't see what's on the hollow disk. But that's okay. That's okay. I assume, I assume that because the big brain wants to, Councilman McClure is not here. It's probably because it's in the middle of the night. Yep. Can't rest at this location. Oh, okay. I don't think Councilman McClure. I don't know where his house is or anything like that. So let's just go on ahead and just like leave this area and and rest till morning. here either. Okay. That's okay. Guess we just gotta rest outside the gate. Being a citizen of Vault City is nice though because we don't have to worry about them bugging us for our day pass anymore. I know you hate this place, Cassidy. I kind of hate it too. Everybody here is a douchebag who insists on putting down other people. And that's not that's not rad. That's not rad, especially not in the post-apocalyptic world where everybody is supposed to be trying to rebuild civilization. And again, if war isn't the thing that ever changes and that never changes and then I guess the next thing behind it would be the selfishness of humanity. Anyway, enough enough philosophical bullfuckery. Let's let's get this disc to Councilman McClure. Good day, citizen. Can I help you? Let's see some questions. I have an economic data disc that you might find interesting. I'm sorry, an economic data disk? What do you mean? Uh... Here, take a look. Very well, give me a moment. Hmm, how did you come by this disk? 
Let's see. I received it from a ghoul and gecko. His name is G Gordon Gecko. Okay. Uh, he's interested in optimizing the power plant. Oh no, wait. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Th this sounds about right. You see. So what does this have to do with me? Well, as I understand it, Vault City's power generator can only support so many people, and in fact, it's already nearing its limit. I'm not going to ask you how you came by that information, but if it were true, what are you proposing? Hmm. The disk shows that since the plant is now fully functional and optimized, it could produce a great amount of energy from far more than what Gecko needs. Well, City could use that energy. I feel that the Council should consider what this disk has to offer. This is quite interesting. I'll keep the Omen and the economic disk and study it some more. Perhaps I can persuade the Council to enter inter negotiations with Gecko for and to trade for their power. The data disk would be a strong argument in and of itself. I appreciate it. Thank you. So cool. Basically, we have ensured that both Vault City and Gecko will thrive through a through a pretty good trade agreement. But since we're still here, we do need to get that super toolkit for Skeeter. I think the Amity's office will probably have one. Probably anyway. I accidentally shut the door, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oops. Hey, hello, sir. Uh, let's see. What's this place again? Let's see. Tools, stem packs, uh, other questions? Okay, so we can only ever bug them for the Gex, so I wonder if they just have one in stock. What's this? Metal armor? We could come back for that later. Some books and some caps. So... Hmm. Well, the Amity's office doesn't have it. Let's see... What's this building again? Maintenance center. Well, the maintenance center might have it. Who knows? What are you, uh, Dad? Uh, I'm sorry? Dad? Oh, what? Who? What? Huh? Where have you been? Still running around the waste when selling shiny junk to trade into tribals? <laughs> Ignore her, boss. She doesn't know what she's saying. Well, honey, you see, there were some slavers, and... Cut the crap, Dad. Are you still calling everybody you meet boss? I hated that about you. Valerie, honey, please, let me explain. You see... Oh, I never liked this place. What a load of Brahmin crap. It's the truth! Don't you start. I'm glad Mom isn't here to hear this. What? What happened to your mother? Brain fever. Cut her on that. Get her on the waist. Probably looking for you. Oh, oh, jeez, this is. Oh, she's just. Okay, that's good. <laughs> she's actually died of radiation poisoning. She drank some of the unfiltered water from the courtyard well. Oh. Oh, Vic. Wasn't your fault. She had too many rides running through her vent system from Dr. Tran, Troy, from Dr. Troy, Tran, uh, trying to save her. Uh, Oh, jeez. Don't worry, she was pretty bad before that. Any fucking hell. I. Oh my god. You guys can pause this. I. I. I you guys can pause this. I trust you to use that. I'm not skipping anything, but just holy sh- Oh my god! You can't even repair that well? Uh, whoa, hey, don't get me involved! I 
I oh my god. <laughs> Yeesh. Can we talk to her about a super toolkit? Well, if it isn't my dad's boss, did you want something, or are you just in here, or are you just going to stand there gawking like a moron? Jeez. Watch it, I am not in the mood for any bullshit today. Get out of here, I'm going to some of the guards to make you get out. Can I at least barter with you? No? Okay. Okay, I just want to—I just want to know what this place is. This is a maintenance shed for Vault City. Did you just happen to miss the huge sign on the side of the building? Ugh. This might be a shop of some sort. You got the of some sort right, and ran of some sort right. Anyway, look. Do you need something repaired, or do you just want to ask me a bunch of dumb questions? Okay, what do you repair here, bitch, McGee? Synthetic alcohol dispensers, radios, firearms, laser turret parts, computer monitors, you name it. And I can where when I can get the tools to do my job. Oh, uh, tools? Right now I've got a metal lathe barely working, and my wrench has gone missing. Again. My player's teeth are stripped. Anything I can help with? You? I doubt it. Yeesh, would getting you a wrench and a set of pliers help fucking stop your mood swings? Yes, why? Maybe I can go find them some and bring them back to you. I won't hold my breath, but if you want to, go ahead. It's your time, not mine. I might be able to scrape together a little and a little to pay you for your trouble. If I find a wrench and pliers, I'll bring them by. I don't know if that's where... I don't know if she's where I get the uh, super toolkit from, but I am going to check these other amnesty, uh, these other amnesty stops, uh, shop, uh, shops, ugh. I could just speak coherent English. Let's see. Ropes, knives, flares, a tool. I don't know if those count. See, does this guy have anything of the sort in stock? It's a first aid kit. Nope, this guy mostly deals in... This guy mostly uh, deals in medical supplies, it seems. Hmm, what's this? Information center, I guess I might be able to find something here? I don't know. It's worth a shot. Uh no, never mind. Can't use this monitor, so But still, that's a bit of a twist. I mean, I just figured that Vic knew Ed because, you know, he's a merchant. He travels a lot. But fucking yeah, apparently he's from Vault City. Oh, now these people are nice to me now that I'm a citizen. Okay, I see how it is. When I do the inevitable off-screen and off-screen town robbing, you're the first. So let's see. Right, this is a guard shack. Correction center, and this is the correction center. Let's see, anything around here then? Did we already take a look in here? The door is locked, so I can assume not. This is just a regular house, it seems. So, that's not it. Maybe I can talk to Councilman McClure about it? Let's 
see, you can ask you some questions. Uh, well, I guess while I'm here, what can you tell me about First Citizen Lynette? She's the leader of the people. The citizens, the citizens of Vault City look to her for guidance. But the citizens, through the council, still have a final say on the matter. In these trying times, she is the pillar of our society. Uh, trying times? Other than, like, the power plant problem, what do you mean? Things have been tough these last two years. The NCR has been getting more aggressive in their attempts to get Vault City to join the Republic. They tell us that if we were to join... They'd be able to defend us from raider attacks on our city. As of late, these raider attacks have become more brutal. Huh. Trying times indeed. Can I ask you another question? Okay, never mind. That's apparently all we can ask. Can we barter with him? No. Okay. So... Hmm... Goddamn arthritis. Yeah, yeah, I know the feeling. So I wonder if I just, like, look around a little bit. Maybe I can find something? Nothing here. Nothing there. So... I've checked both stores, and I've checked the main, like, office place to get stuff, but I still can't find nothing. What is this again? Oh, right, this is, like, the inn. But yeah, so we've checked both of those, but we can't seem to find anything. We've checked the maintenance center, but, uh, Valerie's pant and panties are kinda in a twist. I think we've already been in here. I think I may just need to call the episode early because, uh, I don't really know what to do next because, uh, I mean, we know that the super tool that Skeeter needs is in Vault City, and none of the shops are carrying it main office that takes place of all, like, the things that we need, and that we got the hydroelectric something, or I can't remember the whole thing from, uh, they managed to have that, but they don't seem to have it. You go to the maintenance shed, only to be caught up in a bunch of family drama. Valerie might have it, but probably not. I don't know. We need to get her some tools first, and I don't know where to get her some tools from, unless the tools that she's looking for are just a standard issue named tools that the shops are selling. I don't know if I need to get specific, like, I, I don't need, if I, I don't know if I need the specifics, like, if I specifically need a wrench, or if I just need to get two tools and just bring them to her. I can't think of really anywhere else to, to, to check. I mean, the information center is mostly just on, a. Uh, Friggin' the vaults and the Gek, which is all well and good, but we already know where the next vault we need to check out is. So, yeah. So regardless, we're we're at a bit of a standstill here, and honestly, I could really use your guys' help. Just just like give me a push in the right direction in the comments, on social media, anything like that. Like if you want to remain anonymous, I have anonymous enabled on my Xbox on Tumblr and such like that. So yeah, I guess I'll just be calling it an episode here. So I will see you guys hopefully on Monday. I don't know if I will be here on Monday because of some personal stuff. But I will see you guys uh, next time on Let's Play Fallout, and take care. Thanks for sticking around until the end. If you like this off, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or maybe even subscribing. If you want more great games by Andrew Bates, you can click here to watch me play Planescape Torment. Or if you want more post-apocalypse RPG, you can click here to watch me play Planescape Torment.